Okay, in this video we're checking out the HGLR CFD 445 stack here. This comes with an F4 flight controller and a 4-in-1 ESC, which is actually a 32-bit ESC. Um, yeah, this board over here is actually uh, part of the F4 all-in-one board that comes with a PDB, so you can use individual ESCs. Actually, I already did a video on that one. I believe all of the the design layout of the board is identical to that one, but we'll still cover that here. And then they've added this uh, 4-in-1 ESC that will plug into that a uh, little uh, JST micro plug connector there. Okay, so I pulled everything out of the box here. We just got some foam here, uh, packaging foam. I'm going to just show you the date that this was uh, actually put together. It looks like on the 19th. It's pretty uh, pretty recent. It was a few days ago, actually. And then have the, at the bottom of the box here, you have the a little card here that has the specs here for this particular setup here, so 2 to 6S, uh, 3 amp, 5 volts, BEC, MPU 6000. Uh, the ESCs are 45 amps for an ESC, and it's a constant current of 45 amps. Uh, not sure what the burst is. I'm, I remember right, it was, I think it was like 60, but could be wrong about that one. Uh, just show here, you have some receivers you can use, 20 by 20 mounting hole. Um, and then, of course, on the other side, you have the wiring diagram. So. Let's see if we can get a close-up shot there of where everything should go. This also looks like there's some silk screening on this particular flight controller with some pretty big solder pads. And then you can see the connector there for the foreigner and ESC. So everything should be nicely documented. So this does include an XD60 connector here along with uh, the wires. And, and the wire gauge here is 14 gauge wire, so it's pretty solid wire. You get the wiring loom that's going to go from the foreign ESC to the flight controller. And you get some mounting hardware. You get a long M2 screw, it looks like. And a whole bunch of these rubber washers, grommets that are going to be act as spacers between the foreign ESC and the flight controller for vibration dampening. You include this uh, capacitor in here as well. It's a 220 microfarad, 35 volt capacitor. It's a little on the small side. Okay, so here's a look at the flight controller. Does this look very similar to the F4 all-in-one without the PDB? And then, of course, up here is the bottom side of the board. You got the OSD chip, MPU 6000. It looks like that's the a voltage regulator there. And then you can see where everything is labeled. So it looks like you got your camera connection there. Over on the side, you got some of your UARTs. And you got down here some RSSI connections, TX6, additional UARTs, and you also have LED buzzer connections down here at the bottom. Everything is nicely labeled and pretty big solder pads for 20 by 20 volts, so it shouldn't be too bad in terms of soldering up your connections. Okay, so here's the uh, 4-in-1 ESC, pretty nice looking. It's got a little QC pass sticker on here. Okay, so here's a closer look at the MOSFETs on this ESC. It does look like that is a separate board or circuit board there that they, the boards have been actually soldered together. You can see the, the connection points there, three here, three here. So for each of those motor pads, it looks like. So this is what they opted to do. It's like a, two boards, but basically back to back on the flat sides. So. Maybe they went for that instead of a multi-layered, um, or uh, I guess a multi-layered PCB with even more layers than they are currently have. You have the battery lead connections there. You have your micro JST connector there goes to the flight controller with the wiring loom. And it looks like they have solder pads there available to you as well. If you want to use those right there. A whole large bank of capacitors here. So perhaps that is why they went with a small uh, capacitor here because there's a lot of filtering already on the main ESC. I guess we'll find out later once I fly it. And then we have our solder pads here on this side for all the motors. And this is your main battery lead connection here. So that's probably going to be for your main big battery wires and then your capacitor is going to go on the bottom side here. So that's kind of nice. Makes uh, wiring up pretty easy. But you can see it's a slightly bigger than your normal 20 by 20 size boards out there. Um, so you want to try to keep that in mind in terms of spacing for your your build and seeing if it's going to fit or not. Okay, so just give you the 
weights really quick here. So 11 grams for the 49 AC and the flight controller is coming in at 4.66 and then together 15.68. The wiring alone we're coming in at 16.4 and the capacitor 17.46. Anyways, that's going to do it for this overview video of the FD445 stack from HGLRC. I will have this in a build soon, and we'll see this flying. Uh, this, I believe, is also the stack that is going to go into their new 3-inch, I believe it's called the Mini Aero. I have that frame coming as well, so you'll see a frame review, and then I'll put that in there. And I believe it's also going to be using the 1408 motors. Uh, probably going to do the 6S uh, setup. On this one since obviously we'll do success so let me know if you guys have any questions for that for those upcoming videos and i will talk to you guys in the next one